Cricut has a paper called writable vinyl that you can use to draw just the prettiest labels and use them for your project. So to make my labels, I'm going to be using the Cricut design space. Now you can either use your computer or your phone for making labels. For this one, I'm gonna be using my computer, but I'll use both and show you how they both work. So I started by creating rectangles that I could cut out. I knew that I wanted the rectangles to be 3.25 inches by 2.25 inches. So once I sized them correctly, I duplicated them so I had enough labels. Next, what you want to do is select a writable print. That way, whenever you put it in your machine, the pen will actually draw your label on. So I found the font Roger. I went in, added text, and wrote out all my labels, sized them to the size that I wanted them to be. Now the cool thing about the Cricut Joy is you can either select to use a mat or not use a mat. I decided for this project I was going to use a mat because it uses a pen and it cuts so you don't want your paper to move around so I figured putting it on a mat was probably the best choice. So it starts by telling you to put in your pen and it's going to draw out your labels first. Then it'll tell you to switch to the blade. From there, it's going to cut out your rectangles. Now from there, it's really easy. I just took the labels, peeled them off, and put them onto the black labels that I had picked up from Dollar Tree. And then I added them to the bins in my daughter's closet. And here's a look at how they turned out. So I've been super into these little canvas bags that they started selling recently at Ikea. So I picked up three of them to do a project. Now when I saw these, I thought these would make really great organization for a craft space, for pens, pencils, things like this. And I imagined them hanging on my pegboard. Now for this project, I'm going to use Cricut's mobile app. So in the Cricut design space, they have a variety of images. So I went to the image and I started searching for the pictures that I was looking for. So I wanted the picture of a pencil. When I was looking at the images, I was looking for something that would be a good cut file that wasn't gonna to be too hard for me to weed out because I like things super simple. So if it had a lot of intricate detail, I didn't use that. So I was looking for like a really simple pencil that would be easy to cut out. So once I picked out the shapes that I wanted, I just sized them so that they were all the exact same size. The Cricut Joy has a bunch of different pretty iron-on fabric, so I'm gonna be using this really pretty iron-on fabric. And when you do an iron-on, you wanna flip it so it's upside down on your mat when it cuts it out. Now, if you're writing words, you're gonna flip the image so it's reverse of each other, but since I'm just doing a pencil and some scissors, I wasn't worried about that. Then I'm just gonna put my mat in and have it cut. Now the Cricut Joy is gonna prompt you to put what material you're cutting out, which really helps because then it cuts it perfectly and you know the cut works every time. Next, I'm gonna use my Cricut tool and just weed out any excess around my images. I'll cut them out and then I'm gonna place them in the middle of my canvas. Next, I'm going to iron them on. So you could use an iron that you have. I'm gonna use the Cricut Easy Press at 250 degrees, and I'm gonna put it on for 15 seconds. After I put it on, I'm gonna let the paper cool before I try to peel back that little plastic coating. Now, if it still needs a little bit more heat, I'll put it on for another 15 seconds. I find that putting heat on in small increments is better than doing it for too long and then having your vinyl mess up. So I hung these on my pegboard guys and I filled them up with pens, pencils, and scissors. And I think these look adorable. How perfect are these for a craft room space?
Hey guys, I'm Liz and you're watching my second DIY channel where I post daily DIY videos. You may be familiar with my main channel, Liz Fibwick DIY, but I'm glad that you found me over here on my second channel. Make sure that you're subscribed so you just get notified every day when I post our daily DIY video.